Ladies and gentlemen, the Thor News May Day fundraiser weekend push has just begun. I only have $1,080 left to raise for May to keep Thor News up and running. If you'd like to contribute, I got a snail mail, a PayPal, a Venmo, a Cash App, and a Patron. And every single contribution would be super duper greatly appreciated. All right, let's get to the news. Yo, Quinwood, medicine woman, West Virginia. You're about to be hit by an unwarned long track tornado. So you guys better be ready. That was 27 minutes ago. Matthew Capucci, pretty disconcerting. And there's a tornado on the ground with debris in the air and no red box around it. Hopefully residents exercised situational awareness and sought shelter. Always err on the side of caution. All right. But remember, this is the United States of America. Nobody can make you play defense or stay cautious or, you know, uh, have critical risks assessment anyway what was i talking about we have another severe weather day going on for multiple states i'm talking florida georgia south carolina north carolina virginia west virginia maybe even part of tennessee yeah um we're watching this danger zone as these storms will pass through and you got a chance for tornadoes hail straight line winds lightning and rainbows i'm going to stay optimistic and try and be in a cheery mood all weekend even though it doesn't look like i'm going to be able to afford to go home and see my mama on mother's day but be sure and take care of your mother i put a card in the mail all right so yeah we're tracking the storms here and we got storms coming into the pacific northwest and sure yeah we got an eclipse coming up in nine days so it's going to be like a weird advent calendar of doom so expect people to kind of be losing their minds. But you stay cool, because that's what we do here at Asteroid Fight Club. Hey, and a reminder that hurricane season is officially less than a month away. Jeff Verdelli is keeping track on that mid-May possible tropical, subtropical hurricane storm thingy, you know, that may or may not be happening next Tuesday. Nah, I don't think it's gonna be a hurricane. Could it be a subtropical storm? Potentially, Jeff Baradelli, if it forms, it would make the eighth season in a row that a preseason system forms. How might this take place, and why are we seeing so many storms before June 1st? The answers are that thingy if you click there. Asterisk. All right, so we'll keep an eye on that. Tuesday seems like forever away. Well, I guess it's only like, what, four days? Yeah, today, Capital Weather Gang is letting us know about 68 million people have an elevated risk of severe storms today from Florida to southwest Pennsylvania. D.C. area just on edge of marginal risk, but we may deal with heavy rain and flooding. So today's storm may pack uh, multi-varied punches for several people. That's alliteration. Hey, we're looking at a damp and cold Mother's Day weekend on tap for the northwest U.S., the chance of snow creating travel troubles in some mountain pass areas Saturday and Monday. Yeah, so you got some areas like Pennsylvania who could see over three inches of rain in a small amount of time. And then you got, you know, a big snow push coming through in May to the Pacific Northwest. And then like a Canadian finger storm coming down through the Dakotas and then the Minnesotas. Speaking of hurricane season, da da boo, the Florida wave masters like holy shnikey, there's two of them talking about two potential systems, one down here and then one up here. And then remember when hurricane season gets rolling, we get this type of formation, except there's one usually in the middle. Are you ready and prepared for hurricane season? Hey, Tennessee, you guys need to watch out today. You could get corn sized hail. All right, it says P-sized, but I thought I'd throw a smile on your face. Yeah, y'all, you got a tornado watch has been issued for parts of Georgia, Kentucky, North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee, Virginia, and West Virginia until 7 p.m. Eastern time. Can I just say something real quick? You know, it trips me out. You can get this far over here in Florida, and you're still on central time. Like, where does the East Coast time zone begin? Sorry, that was a non sequitur. I hope you don't mind. Ooh, baby. The sun has been crackling with solar flares. And 
these explosions have been hurling multiple overlapping coronal mass ejections into space. One of them might hit Earth slightly in the face tomorrow on May 7th. So that'll add to the charged protons that are happening all over. All right, now let's look at the lightning because that kind of gives us an idea of how strong or potent a storm or storm area might be. You can see you've definitely got some activity down here moving through Florida and Georgia and then up through Tennessee and the West Virginian areas. Anyway, so crazy weather day ahead up till 8 p.m. Eastern time. So if you are in the area with the 68 million people, be sure and pay attention. Sound good? Sound great? Sound cool? Wonderful. All right. Here concludes this weather video, and if you would like to donate or contribute to help keep the war news up and running, I got a mailbox, PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, Patron, nothing but love for y'all. Super duper thank you to John, Tyler, Astro Fight Club, the Texas Angel. Oh yeah, and I've only got $1,080 left to raise for May Day May. It's gonna be a wild month. Thank you to Patricia, Alexis, Lauren, Barbara, Glenda, Arnica, Lightsoul, Dan, Marlita, Brian, Ann, Max, Teresa, Ricks, 1988, and everybody out there who is cool and have a great weekend. God bless everyone. Talk to y'all soon.